Yo, this has to be a joke, right? This has to be a joke. Welcome everyone back to my channel. Uh, Crisis 4, guys. Crisis 4, guys. Crisis 4. So if you guys don't know, I did a Crisis uh, Let's Play just recently. But we finished, like, I myself finished the games. Uh, one, uh, Warhead. Two and three uh, many years ago. So um, I'm going to come back to those and play them again. Because uh, god damn, dude. I didn't think we would get one. Because people were like, yo, Crisis are over. You know, Crisis is a dead franchise. And, uh, and you guys have seen me play Halo Infinite lately. Uh, a lot of Halo content. Here's the thing. Crisis was my Halo back in the day. And I'm not kidding. I was when I... I play. I started playing. Uh, I probably did Halo Combat Evolved demo. Remember those PC days, guys, where we were like just playing uh, on one map, one server, or whatever, a couple servers demo. Uh, but that was it for me. Halo. I couldn't really grab anything. I never had an Xbox, so I didn't really play anything. So, so my um, when I got a better PC gear and all that, my cousin got me a uh, Crisis, the first Crisis, right? And I think I still have the, uh, I don't know where it is, but still should have the cover of the uh, deluxe edition, whatever. Well, I don't know, not deluxe edition, but it was like a, a thick cover, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I just fucking love this franchise, you know. Uh, it was a little unfortunate where the uh, story went, you know, uh, Crisis 2, Crisis 3. Like Crisis 2 totally went in a different direction. Crisis 3 kind of tried to like wrap it up, uh, bring uh, tie a loose ends, but didn't really give me a lot of answers. You know what I'm saying? So I loved the uh, story of Crisis, not gonna lie. Uh, multiplayer was also dope, but I was more the uh, single player campaign uh, kind of guy. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into this Crisis 4 teaser trailer. Man. Bro, wait. Falling buildings in there. Sorry, I have to pause because obviously reaction we did. Like, I'm curious, what could they continue after that ending in Crisis 3? Oh, music has a little of Crisis 3 vibe. Alright, well, they they confirmed. Join the journey, become the hero. Alright, cool. That's so... <laughs> <coughs> Man, you know, they ended Crisis 3 a little bit weird, because Prophet was like, ah, oh, you know, he got his face back with the suit, and, uh, you know, his whole body, uh, uh, nanotech shit you know what i'm talking about and <laughs> i was like well uh they made it so like they the seth threat was gone but even though they just finished one uh mother ship they just you know uh spoiler alert uh prophet like destroying the uh, one mother ship trying to get through um I, I don't think i mean personally i don't think they indicated that the whole seth race was destroyed you know so i'm like maybe there is more to it. Uh, kind of, I'm kind of expecting there's more to it. But you know what? Uh, hold on. I saw like a couple trailer breakdowns and shit. So let's watch those, okay? Hold on. All right. So this is from Python Selcon. Trailer breakdown, world annihilation, analysis, analysis. Eight minutes long. Well, I'm not going to watch all of it, but... Man. It's finally here, guys. 
the moment we crisis fans have all been waiting for hell yeah bro preach brother Crytek has finally confirmed the long-awaited sequel to the crisis franchise with an awesome looking teaser for crisis 4. let's have a look all of us crisis fans Okay, we're just re-watching it. Also, hold on, let me pause a little bit because, you know, copyright. I hope Python sell can I hope you allow me to use this, dude, bro. Come on, man. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> Don't copyright strike me. <laughs> I mean, we saw the trailer, so I'm going to move forward, okay? Because I want them to... How's wanna... it going, guys? Python Selkin here. Now, the teaser for Crisis 4 showed us plenty of cool details through some very fast scenes, so it's best if we slowed down the footage or even pause the scenes for a clear view or better understanding of what's being shown. Okay. The first shot shows us a close look at what seems of to be a, a hot glowing ball of fire, which is known to hold everything together at the center of our solar system, I mean, it looks... and which is pretty essential to our survival. The sun. Yes. If we rewind the scene some seconds earlier, we can also see what seem to be split-second shots of what could be the formation of the sun itself. This could possibly mean Crisis 4 may be touching upon the foundation of the solar system and could potentially explore more of the origins of the Ceph and advance elder that's, species that's what I wanted. from a different galaxy you know. known as the M33 or Triangulum and who had been hiding on our I want to know more about the Ceph, you know. I want to know more of the. the this scene is followed by a I want to know more about the set, and I want to know more about fucking you know Nomad, dude. People uh, at the end of Crisis Three, uh, spoiler alert again. Uh, if you don't know, you get a lock file. I don't know how you unlock it, but the lock file says, you know, Nomad is still somewhere. You know, uh, so I want to know where the fuck Nomad is, dude. God, we got to see a lot of profit, but. Nomad just disappeared. Like, I fucking love that character, you know, in Crisis 1. Uh, and they said, you know, he was, he ended with, he was like, oh, we're gonna finish the fight or something. <laughs> kind of like Master Chief. And um, we have to go back and fight. But then they never showed us that fight, you know. We just fucking randomly appeared on New York, Crisis 2. And um, that was kind of a little bit disappointing, you know animation design of what could be representing buildings in a city very much reminiscent of the environment we've already seen before with new york which was the main setting in crisis 2 and i don't see that as a city building dude i, I also see more as a design of the nano suits you know when you do uh, maximum armor and the uh, suits when it changes shit uh that's when that kind of stuff appears you know those detailed uh, nano bot tech, whatever it is. So, Entry. I don't know. Now, this particular building seems to be heavily destroyed. And judging by what we're seeing in the next scene, this seems to be caused by a vaporization of sort that seems to be affecting the Earth, potentially by the sun itself. Okay, I guess I get his... Destruction of Earth. You know, I get it. With explosions that would vaporize the surface of the planet facing the sun. And the other side of the planet, which rise the Ceph, or some kind of mass extinction event, remains to be seen. But if we pause the scene just a little further, we can also see what seems to be a VTOL, which could just be randomly patrolling. Oh, could be hinting oh okay, I didn't catch that one. I, on Earth I didn't catch this. Crisis Tree left us with the Alpha Ceph generating a giant wormhole to the Ceph's own galaxy, with which yeah. the aliens planned to send an invasion force to our planet. That's the thing, uh, that invasion force never got through. It was just that mothership trying to get in. We destroyed the mothership. But they never continued it after that. We also see an iconic nanosuit helmet sitting in the rubble as a result of the chaos. Oh, is that and the uh, Crisis 1? Destroyed buildings. Helmet? Oh my gosh, music is so dope. We believe this scene is music. meant to be taken as symbolism. That from the rubble, from all the chaos that the devastation left, there is life that still remains. And with life comes hope. This soon takes the form of what seem to be DNA strands that possibly become one with the suit's nanotechnology. Actually, sorry that I paused there. Hold on. So what he said is... 
quasi creation of life uh, as we because these are small particles whatever uh, the, the nano bots whatever it is uh, you saw that in christ one two how they go into your veins and so you get your know, maximum speed maximum strength stuff like that so we saw that prophet turned into that you know uh, the nano suit turned his visual side uh he won he became one with the suit right so are they implicating that like life itself in the universe of crisis will just fucking you know everyone turns into a nano suit or some shit well the the key. i don't know but the hero I don't know. Caesar touch upon what could be the sun's impact on a worldwide crisis itself. What we do know for certain is that the Earth will definitely be needing Prophet's help one more time. Without me, you don't have a goddamn chance. I made mistakes along the way, but after all, I'm only human. My name is Lawrence Barnes. Me. That's such a beautiful ending, dude. The teaser trailers. You know, it left us with questions, but oh my god, dude, you know I love Prophet's character. By the way, don't get me wrong. We're like Nomad. When I want Nomad, I'm not saying Prophet. Prophet's character was dope. Okay, Lawrence Barnes, dude, ten out of ten. But you know, it fucking, it was just a shame that Nomad just fucking disappeared and uh, never got back into the storyline again since we've had any news it's been a long time since we've had any news on the crisis franchise mm. it started out in 2007 with the first game it was known to have some really high visuals for its time and you needed a really good crisis was ahead of its time dude, card to run it on the highest setting so there's that old joke or meme and be the hero the teaser trailer shows a crumbling destroyed city but during a few frames something is shown very quickly we can see the nano suit helmet, oh, but yeah. it looks heavily damaged. The end of the trailer shows a number four at the end. A on the journey. There isn't the really a lot of. In the early hiring people to work on the next chapter. I'm not gonna. Okay, these reactions videos are just. <laughs> Reaction, <Re> dude. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that was it for Crest Four trailer, dude. I'm super hyped. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, if they pull this off. I'm, 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 I'll, I'll still play Halo Infinite, but I'm just saying, dude, that will probably be my new FPS shooter, uh, FPS first person shooter, um, you know, game I'm going to hang around with, you know, uh, fucking Call of Duty has been a disappointment for many years after Call of Duty 4, so there isn't really a lot of FPS I'm playing like this. CSGO has become a fucking money dump and, uh, knee jerk after they did that battle royale thing even though before that they were like there's some balance changing it kind of threw me off okay and um yeah I f i'm not sure about counter-strike anymore and it's maybe if they would do a new counter-strike good one improved one maybe but until then not really so yeah i'm looking really forward for this uh game to uh launch i hope there will be more trailers more uh teaser trailers coming in cry tech come on man joe dearly you know my boy dude my boy <laughs> fuck try it <laughs> dude come on show us more we need more footage but anyway you guys thanks so much for watching this was the christ 4 trailer and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye